Alright, so I'm sure you've all heard that schools across the United States have a bit of a battle raging on over critical race theory. Now, very disingenuous people from the left that I consider to be bad actors are saying that people fighting against critical race theory are actually fighting against teaching slavery at all, or sexism, or the history of Jim Crow at all. Not only are they wrong, they are even worse than that, in a way. And I have verifiable, undisputed proof. I actually did a little digging of my own, and it's one of those beautiful times where you can see outright when some media puppet is either completely ignorant or outright lying, um, and they're doing it with extreme self-righteousness intact. So let me just set this scene real quick, just so you're aware. There's a bit of a twist at the end of this story, so stay with me. This is a segment on, a, on Fox News. It's The Five, and they were talking about a bill in Iowa that was in opposition to the rhetoric and indoctrination that stems from critical race theory. Which, by the way, that's actually what people are opposed to. I mean, I don't care if a school teaches what critical race theory is, and they say this is a lens that some people claim this is how you should view things. They call it critical race theory. Here were some other people who disagreed with that and felt that, that was improper. And they view history and society through this lens. Make up your own mind, right? Something like that would be fine. But the problem we're against is actually the teachers are not necessarily mentioning critical race theory. They're just operating under its insane, insidious, and racist premise. But I digress. So they're talking about this Iowa bill. And this guy right here, Richard, he's on and says that he actually read this bill. And since he believes reading to be fundamental, he is now going to educate everybody about what's in the bill and what everyone is trying to ban. He claims that the bill bans teaching slavery, bans teaching about sexism, etc. Now, Jesse Waters, the other guy here, fires back and says he hasn't read the bill, but that he will bet that it doesn't say that ballsy move on his part, but it would have paid off, because I actually went and read the bill. Well, let me show you what I found. And spoiler alert, Richard here, who said that he read the bill and said it bans the teaching of slavery, could not be more wrong. So here's the bill, and the twist is coming soon, so stay with me here. Um, here it does say, um, it does say, D, Prohibit the use of curriculum that teaches the topics of sexism, slavery, racial oppression, racial segregation, etc., etc. So, it does say that. However, if you just go a little bit above that, to right here. Oh, let me highlight it. There we go. There. It says, very clearly, that this section shall not be construed to do any of the following. D. Prohibit the use of curriculum that teaches the topics of sexism, slavery, racial oppression, etc. So this is just one of those situations where there is no debate. This guy and people who think like him and speak like him with such confidence when they're outright wrong, they only have two options. They are either outright wrong and ignorant, or they're actual bad actors and they are purposefully lying, which is insidious and despicable because when you actually think about this a little bit, not only are the people who wrote this bill not banning the teaching of slavery, as many of these leftist types are suggesting, at least in this bill, that is what this guy said he read, what they're actually saying is explicit. And what they're saying is that they cannot ban the teaching of slavery or sexism. So, not only is this guy wrong in that he's saying that they're banning these things, this bill purposefully says that what is about what you are about to read should not be misconstrued as banning the teaching of slavery. Um, so, there's actually an extra layer of insidiousness on top of all of this lying that they're doing. It's actually making sure that this bill does not result in the banning or prohibiting of teaching these things. So these people have got a long, hard look in the mirror that they need to do if they want to figure out what's going on in their head, because it's just absurd. Um, and frankly, they should be ashamed of themselves. But that is all for now. Like, sub, and share this video. It's greatly appreciated, and you take it easy.